Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is a continuity of my previous video. In my previous video, I have shown how to save the video files into a project folder and the video path saved in the SQL Server database table. Now in part 2, I will show you how to retrieve video files and display on the browser using MVC. And see here we got the output hello, hello friends welcome, welcome to my channel. channel this is Charan in this video I will show you let's add the new video choose file upload video files And here we got the new video just we have uploaded. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. If you are missing the part 1 video tutorial, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get that link. Let's start the coding part. First thing, in the controller, I am adding my class, model class, using the project name is a video upload file and we see dot models in the action result index which is the http get i'm adding list class now in this list class i'm adding the class name upload class video list is equals to instead of writing the connection strings again I'm just copy and paste here I'm deleting the insert statement the new SQL query I'm adding the select statement select start from the table name is a dbo dot video files this one i'm pasting here sql command sql com is equals to new sql command which takes two parameters one is a sql query the second one is a sql connection object which is a sql con Let's open the connection string. Open method. SQL data reader SDR is equals to SQL command dot execute reader method. While SDR dot read. Now in this while condition, I'm adding the upload class. upload class uc is equals to new upload class uc dot video name is equals to sdr the column name vname dot to string method uc dot vpath is equals to sdr the column name is a vpath dot to string method now i am adding this object uc in this video list video list dot add uc And the finally written view video list this object that's it in the coding part let's switch to the index.cshtml we add the control to display the video files add add for each 
variable item in model I'm adding do class column small device for column medium device for column extra small device 12 I'm closing this div div class title style width 250 pixels now inside this div I'm adding the video name at item dot vname horizontal line div class video frame now inside this div tag I'm adding the video tag video style width 250 pixels height 150 pixels and I want to display the controls of the video source src is equals to url dot content at item dot vpath type video mp4 that's it we have done the designing part in the index view page also now it's time to check the results on the browser google chrome And see here we got the output hello, hello friends, friends welcome, welcome to my, my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you let's add the new video choose file upload video files And here we got the new video just we have uploaded. That's it.